so you don't have to. And today, we're going to be talking about Lost and Old Pilots. Now, the funny thing about these are, these aren't things that have been released. No. I'm not talking about things that are being related. I'm basically speculating about, well, I'm basically I'm saying, if these things did happen and didn't, well, become scrapped, would they make good series? On the first chopping block, Blues Brothers, which, go ask your parents or grandparents if you don't know what it is. <clears throat> but essentially, it was about these two guys named, the, named Jolly and Jake. I mean, Jake and Elwood. <clears throat> who were from Chicago and who had their own blues band. And the movie is about them after the brother gets out of prison. Essentially, what they do is, well, to quote the movie, they have a mission from God to basically save their home orphanage. And essentially, that's what they do until the sequel messes everything up. But still. Good. This movie was good, in my opinion. However, as a cartoon, that's where problems start to arise. Because you see, basically the entire point of the movie was to essentially make fun of as many things as you can at the time. I mean, they had Illinois Nazis, they had <laughs> car piles beyond the belief, they had a homicidal girlfriend, I think. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I think, quote me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Anyone in the comments below. Um, if I also remember, they also had, she had a flamethrower and she had an insane boyfriend, if I remember correctly. You have the police, military, the navy, everyone trying to get after these people. It's just a crazy movie. It's like a... It's like a... What do you say? It's like a popcorn movie. It's like... Just a good action-packed movie. It's a popcorn flick. Flick. Sorry, my teeth haven't been working lately. It's just a good flick. And it's probably on Netflix, so any of you who could find it, please tell me if it's still on Netflix. And I did mention a sequel earlier. Am I going to be talking about the sequel? No. Because, yeah, it was made in the 2000s, where everything had to say the 2000s in it. And essentially what it does is it messes up everything you know from the first one with a depressing ending in it. That kind of ends on a cliffhanger that never really gets resolved because it just doesn't. Because they kind of do this anti-story thing where they're like, oh, we're doing this again. But then the movie just, like, stops halfway through. It's like, did somebody cut something out or something? Because literally, as soon as they're driving, the end credits, they're just popping up. And I saw both movies, for, for those of you who don't know. So yes, I'm just kind of questioning my sanity right now. <coughs> the next one on the chopping block, Jurassic Park, the animated series. Yes, this was going to have an animated series. There'll be more and more obscure things down the line, trust me. This one's a strange one, because it was made in the 1970s, and I don't know when the original Jurassic Parks came out, because I just saw kind of the movies today on a Lego game, but I'm guessing they're talking more about the book when they say it was made from the 1970s. Pretty sure. Then again, I don't know. But that sounds like a good movie, Jurassic Park, the animated series. <clears throat> but no, that one was scrapped. 
a couple others, like Doctor Who, the animated series. Now, this one's a strange one, because there also be an because there might also be an anime out there called Doctor Who, which kind of like sells around the twelfth Doctor. But <laughs> this one was supposed to be made during I don't know the years, but during the classic Doctor Who's like before this before the third Doctor. I mean, yeah, after the third Doctor, and it's supposed to take the Avengers of the fourth. The first season was, yeah. The guy with the scarf. And then after that went out, season two was supposed to follow the fifth Doctor. And then so and so forth. It was supposed to last seven seasons for seven different Doctors. But from what I could tell, budget something... Something must have went wrong because... I can't find a reason why... At all. The best reason I could get for the other one was... Because it wasn't popular enough, and I'm guessing it was because of the book. But this... This is no excuse. Yes, it was made in England, but... You could always just publicize it in England, just, you know? We have a Woody Woodpecker movie that... People like him in Brazil, but we still got it. Come on, countries, do something. Which is the Doctor Who one kind of gets me mad because I just became a Doctor Who fan recently and this would have been fun. No, I'm not done. There's like a couple others that I think you should know. There was going to be a Batman the Animated Series and before you start, before you start tapping in the comments, oh critic, there's already a Batman the Animated Series. No. 1940s Batman Damien series. And what I mean by that is... <coughs> there was a script that I found for... The 40s Batman that was going to be made into a TV show. Or... Movie, I'm guessing. Going to be called... Batman the Cartoon. Now quote me if I'm wrong, but... It was technically going to be the first animated series of Batman. But I guess they didn't want to because it just wouldn't work. I don't know. This last one I'm going to tell you is a really strange one. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know why. But the last one in today's chopping block will be... God, what was it called? Um, this may not be a famous movie, but it's called Jaws the Cartoon. Along with one other that was called, uh, um, let me think. Well, I'll think of it eventually. E.T. the Cartoon. Yeah, that's it. Now, Jaws, I question because... That movie scared me pretty bad. E.T. on the other hand? He's E.T. Never really liked the movie. Jaws kind of scared me, but you may call me a little whiny baby, but I... I don't know what to say about these. Because unlike the Doctor Who one, where I can understand deeply... And somewhat of Jurassic Park, which was essentially just stolen of its glory. These two are just scratching my head. Because I know there's many, many more, but if you think there's a lost cartoon that I didn't talk about today, please, if, if there's like a on-air cartoon or a cartoon that never really got up in the air, please type it down. And what I mean by lost cartoons, I mean... <clears throat> Not cartoons that got picked up and canceled. I'm talking about the cartoons that didn't even get it past the pilot. That were scrapped before the pilot was even ever made. I'm talking just scripts. 
<coughs> and if there's animation done good for them, I, I was kind of cheating with the Blues Brothers one myself, but that's me. So yeah, if there's another Lost Cartoon, I'll probably do this again. Anyways, I'm the critic, I remember, so you don't have to. Bye.